haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get instantly notified from the updates of being civil a complete civil engineering tutorial channel happy learning hello everybody welcome to being civil in this video i'm gonna show you how to draw the shear stress distribution of a circular beam you see this is a beam with circular cross section the depth of the beam is d that is the diameter is d uh, you have to draw the shear stress distribution along the depth of this beam those who have not seen the video on the theory of shear stress distribution just go and uh, see the video the link is in the description and also at the top right corner of this video right now the shear stress formula t is equals to vq by ib where q equals to y d a in the previous video i have shown how to draw this distribution diagram for a rectangular beam for a rectangular beam at a distance of y we got this area in that case this b was constant throughout this depth of this beam but for a circular beam this b is not constant for this reason we have to take a small part at a distance of y let us take a small area it's dy at a distance of y from the neutral axis the breadth is dyy -Y. this is the center let's this angle is theta so what is this distance this is the radius d by 2 this is d by 2 cos theta and this is d by 2 sin theta so b y y is nothing but 2 into d by 2 cos theta so d cos theta and y is d by 2 sin theta so what is q q is integration y d a y d mean d a means this area so this is b y y into d y so write down the terms in terms of d and theta so y is d by 2 sin theta d y y is d cos theta now what is d y if y equals to d by 2 sin theta so d y will be d by 2 cos theta d theta so it becomes d cube by 4 plus square theta sine theta d theta equals to d cube by 4 you can write a square theta uh, d of cos theta d of cos theta is minus sine theta d theta so write down a minus here so minus 
little by four. A skill theta by three. So this is the value of Q. You see, when the value of Y is equals to D by 2, then the Q value becomes 0. And at Y equals to 0, the Q value becomes maximum. T is equals to you may also write down tau equals to vq by ib. We are writing it's for y equals to 0. So, v q is dq by 12 into 1 putting y equals to 0 bq by i for a circular cross section this i equals to pi d to the power 4 by 64 into b is the diameter at y equals to 0 so d so it becomes 64 by 12 V by pi d square. We are ignoring this negative symbol as we are drawing a shear stress distribution curve. So this negative doesn't mean uh, to change the curve because in both the direction as if we go up in y or down in y we got the same sign so we are not using this negative symbol uh, so equals to 16 by 3 v by pi d square so this is the maximum value of tau at y equals to g as you see the value of q also um, is a function of y and b b is also function of y because b equals to d cos theta that is so if you write down t tau y y equals to v into q q is I into B so you will get V D square V D square by I into 12 into 1 minus 4 Y square by d square this is the equation of tau at a distance of y so if you put the value of y uh, equals to 0 then you get uh, tau max and 
to show y equals to d by 2, you get tau mean that is equals to 0. And along y, this tau varies quadratically with y. So the distribution will be the distribution will be like this at y equals to d by 2 it is minimum that is 0 as it y becomes nearer to the neutral axis it is maximum and then again reduce to 0 here so this is the distribution of shear stress of circular cross section. Hope uh, you will like this video. If you find this video helpful, comment in the comment section, share with your friends, and to get more from this channel, subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Happy learning.